All right, guys, there's a technique that we've been trying to keep quiet for almost two years now. Um, it's caught us a lot of big fish, and you're gonna start to see it a lot more. You guys are finding out about it. Um, and it's trolling, no big secret, but it's trolling swim baits. Um, we're getting these fish to inhale these things, trolling in the basin, trolling brake lines, you know, even trolling them on planer boards, you can catch them. So we wanted to show you how we're doing it. We're a little reluctant, but at the same time, we know that it's pretty cutting edge and we're using specific things to help us catch these fish. So when I talk about trolling swim baits, what we're actually doing is we're taking the spin heads um, from Strike King or their squadron heads. And we generally are using the three quarter, may step down to a half, or we may go up to the one ounce head. Um, they have a great hook on them. It gets that hook back into the bait a little bit because you only have one hook when you're down there trolling. Um, and then what we're actually taking is the Rage Swimmer. Seem to be the best for us. Um, now I've tried downsizing to like the 375, um, and I've caught some fish on them, um, smaller fish, but it seems to be a big, a big swim bait thing. So what we're actually using is the 475s. Um, they, they come in a variety of colors, but it seems like the lighter colors work best. And then obviously we use the ROI custom painting uh, to doll them up a little bit. We use a lot of stuff that um, purple back, silver sides, um, chaos is a great color, or our spot tail shiner or perch. You know, you're trying to match the hatch but that bigger profile seems to be what gets bit. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. Feels like a nice fish. Let's see what we got shaking here. It's again, we're just, we're just cruising around here. The wind's starting to die, so we are picking up our speed a little bit. Um, but other than that, we're doing a lot of the same stuff, guys. I mean, this is a super effective way to catch some big fish. This one seems like a little nicer one here. See if I can unclip the weight. That's the, gonna be the whole key here. See if I can't get it. Ooh boy, that fish is back there. It's big. There you go. All right, let's get this thing out of here. Another beautiful fish. So you can see that thing's got it down. I mean, this is a nice fish, 21, 22 incher, uh, but he had it down. Look at that butte. Can't complain one bit. Big fatty. We'll get her back and go get some more. So the setup, real basic. What we're actually doing is using 10 pound mono, putting the jig head on, swim bait, throwing her out. Um, then we're letting out a little bit of line. So I get it out there, clicking her in. And then I'm actually using a 10 ounce weight, if you believe it or not. Um, it seems to be the easiest when we're out here in this basin doing this. Um, I can drop them down. I can really control my depths very well with that 10 ounce weight. Um, now I drop it down and honestly the easiest way to go about it is drop it till it hits bottom, close the bale, and reel it up two, three cranks. I mean, it's real simple, real basic. There's a little bit of a learning curve yet on this, and you're gonna have to experiment a little bit with speeds and stuff, but that's the easiest way for you to figure that out. Super simple, all I'm gonna do, put her in the rod holder, and we're gonna cruise around. Today, what we're doing is we're just chasing these basin fish. They're kind of roaming all over the place, and we're just covering huge amounts of water going you know, anywhere from 2.2 to 2.5 miles an hour uh, with these swim baits um, going through schools and seeing where we can't pick up those big fish. So guys, when trolling these swim bait things, you know, today I use the snap weight system. You don't have to do it that way. A lot of, a lot of times that we've pulled them on lead core, we've pulled them on fire line, we pull them on mono. Whatever you're most comfortable with, use that way. Get comfortable with it. With those three quarter ounce squadron heads uh, from Strike King, it's very similar to dive curves. So if you're adding a, you know, a 10 foot or a 20 foot lead, you know, it's very similar on lead core. So, so it's a great way to get started, get you going. 
uh, to catch some fish. You know, you can definitely do the basin thing like we did today, but you're gonna see us, we do it a lot of times, contour trolling, trolling in trees, trolling through weeds, trolling on planer boards. There's so many different applications for this trolling swim bait thing that I think it's gonna be a really cool bite for you in the future. It's funny, we were just doing a talking tip and I grabbed the rod because I was gonna reel it in, we were gonna talk about it, and a fish smoked it. Seems to be like a pretty big fish too. The tricky part is gonna be doing this one person. Do, do, do. Clip that off. Now we'll be getting the net will be the tricky part here. Oof, yeah, that's a beast here. Let's reel it up another crank or two. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, look at the size of that thing. Oh, that's so awesome. Guys, this is so much fun. Oh my God, we'll get this thing on hook and get her back out for you guys to take a look. Hey, as you can see, this trolling swim bait thing can definitely catch fish. So make sure when you guys are out there, get some rage swimmers, get out to your lakes, and don't just always troll crankbaits, start thinking swim baits because you're gonna put some big fish in the boat.